So I have a question for you. That question is, are you passionate about what it is that you're doing? Are you pas passionate about building your business and your brand? And this blog post was really inspired by um, a conversation that I had with someone on my team probably even watching this video right now, but I'm not going to mention any names because I like to keep um, my conversations with people private. But I, look, I do like to take the content or, or the information or the breakthroughs or, you know, um, the things that I'm, I'm actually trying to help people work through. I really like to bring that to the marketplace because I know that there's many of you that are probably dealing with these kind of mindset issues as well. So, Yesterday, I had a conversation with, um, again, someone on my team um, who had joined my business uh, like two, three months ago, maybe, never did anything, completely missing in action, right? Came to me about maybe a month and a half ago and said, yes, I'm, you know, ready to build my business or whatever. You know, I'm going to go through the getting started video again and all this stuff. And then what happens? MIA all over again, right? Missing in action. And now, yesterday, the person came back to me again saying, this time, I'm really going to do this. I really need to do this because I really need to make money. I really need for this to work. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do it. Um, and then one thing that I really wanna point out and talk about in this video is, um, this person also said um, that they're going to, quote unquote, pray to God that they have the strength to do this. Now, why is that a big deal to me? Why is that, um, I, to, I consider it to be some kind of mindset issue. Why? Here's why. Because if you have to force yourself, if you have to pray to God to give you the strength to do something in your business, if you have to, um, kind of build your business or, or do things inside of your business and they feel like chores that you don't really feel like doing, but you're gonna do them anyway because you need to make money, right? That's never gonna work. And here's why. Because if you have to force yourself, pray to God that you have the strength to build your business, that is the number one sign that you don't have a passion for what you're doing in business, okay? You're just doing it because you feel that you have to do it in order to make money. This is another thing that the person said was that, I have to do this because I have to make money. Listen, if you are trying to make money, if your goal is to make money, you cannot focus on making money or the need for making money or the need or the want of money because it just doesn't work that way. Okay, um, if you are just saying, I'm going to do this with money, then guess what? The money will never come because what you need to do is focus on building the business, building your brand, putting out valuable content to the marketplace so that you can build a following because the more that you do that, the more money will come. Okay, so the money doesn't come from, oh, I'm praying to God that I get the strength to do this. God has nothing to do with this. God has absolutely nothing to do with this, and neither does luck. Okay, has absolutely nothing to do with anything. Okay, um, it has everything to do with your passion for wanting to build this business, whatever business that is. Okay, it is your passion for showing up daily to do the things that you need to do inside of your business every single day. And by doing those things every single day, you may not see results fast, you know? So if you are coming in the game with the mindset of, 
okay, I'm going to figure this out. I need to make I need to make some money right now. I get it. I get that you want to make some money, but I can promise you that you are not going to make a dime if your mindset is focused on showing up to make the money. See, your mindset should be your your intentions should be to show up because you love doing it. Okay? Your intention intention should I'm going to write a blog post or shoot a video or connect with 10, 10 people today without the intention of making money. Because what's going to happen is if you show up today and write a blog post today or cut a video today or chat with 10 people today, right? Or run a solo ad campaign or a banner ad campaign or run a Facebook pay-per-click campaign, right? And you don't make money today, what is that going to do for you? Okay, it's going to, you're going to get disappointed, okay? And most of the time, people quit. But if you look at many of the top leaders, including myself, we went through a long period of time where we didn't make any money. If you know my story, you know that I've been in network marketing since I was 19. We're talking 26 years now, right? And if you know my story, you know that the first 18 years, I made about 20 bucks. 20 bucks. It was in a travel company that I was with back then. And I was with that company for, I don't know, six months or something, really trying to build it offline. And um, I'm, I finally, finally had one of my friends say that they needed to book a travel. So I booked the travel for her. My commission was 20 bucks. That's what I did in 18 years. $20. So I was never in it. I mean, let me rephrase this. Of course we're in it to make money. Don't get me wrong. We want to make money or we wouldn't be in business, right? But the, the point that I'm trying to stress to you guys is that you cannot make the money without the intentions or I should say without um, the passion for doing what you need to be doing every day. Let me, let me put it to you like this and then I'm going to end this video short. When I am working in my business, right, I'm creating blog posts, I'm doing videos, I'm connecting with people, I'm doing whatever else in marketing, right, sharing my content all over the place, right, uh, when I'm doing that, I show up every, like, I wake up every morning excited to create a piece of content and put it out there and share it with the community so that I can help people with whatever it is I'm teaching them in that video or that blog post. I wake up with the passion to, I get excited to open up my computer and get to work, okay? That's passion. I don't open up my computer and say, okay, let me make some money today. I wake up and open up my computer and say, who can I help and inspire today? Because when you focus on that, the money just naturally flows. I couldn't turn off my income flows coming into my household if I tried, okay, um, because it just naturally comes. So I don't focus on money. I focus on value. I focus on my brand. I focus on building a business. And when you focus on building a business, learning things, applying things, teaching things, right, that is when the shift happens. Not when you show up saying, oh, God, I got to write a blog post today. Oh, my God, I got to shoot a video today. Oh, I just can't deal. Boom. And then you shut your laptop down or whatever it is, and you go about your business, start doing other things that don't serve you. Okay? That is a recipe for big-time failure and, a z and zero dollars coming into your business. Okay, that's the strategy. You want to learn how to make zero dollars? Keep having no passion for or excitement for getting up in the morning or working your business at night for, you know, two, three hours before you go to bed. Keep having, you know, no passion about doing that. Keep feeling dreaded to actually do the work. And that's exactly what you're going to get. Nothing. Okay, so there you have it. Um, trying not to go past 10 minutes here because I, I don't typically like making long videos unless it's a how-to video, but I really wanted to stress this point 
because I really think that it is important and a lot of people need to hear this message. Okay, so with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Lisa Torres from lisatorresspeaks.com. Make sure you visit my blog post for my free nine minute video where I'm gonna show you how to get 10 leads every single day and sponsor two to five new members every single week inside of your network marketing business. lisatorresspeaks.com, I'll see you over there. Bye-bye.